children so we're on week four of our fruits of the spirit can you remember what order they go in let's have a go shall we so we have joy love peace patience kindness goodness gentleness faithfulness and self-control so this week we must be on patience hmm now patience is quite a long word but what does it mean children oh, you've got some really good answers there well patience means that we can wait really calmly without getting cross or angry about things it can also mean that we can stay calm with people especially when they're being a bit difficult or maybe they're doing something that we don't like and rather than stamping and screaming we deal with them calmly but do you think staying patient is easy or is it hard hmm i think you're right i think it can be quite hard at times because waiting can take forever and sometimes um people can be really difficult i wonder what mika thinks shall we have a look at his vlog and see what's happening today <laughs> The fruit of the Spirit. When you have the Holy Spirit, you will produce love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Patience. Ah, uh, the library. My favorite place. Nothing like being surrounded by books filled with information and knowledge with no one to bother you. Um, um, um. <clears throat> huh? Do you mind? Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Did you want some? Um, no thank you. Huh. More for me then. <sighs> Just keep calm, Lydia. He's going to run out of chips sooner or later. Ah, it has come to thee, lone potato chip. As your salty comrades have fallen, one question remains. Will you be as delicious and as crunchy? Only one way to find out. Well, at least it's over now. Can't you take that literally like anywhere else? Hey, Lydia, would you keep it down? This is a library, you know. <laughs> Ephesians 4.2 says, be patient with each other, making allowance for each other's faults because of your love. Well, there you have it, kids. Lydia did not show patience. As a result, she disrupted the library, and now, detention. Also, Mike has got attention for eating chips in the library. You shouldn't do that. Wow, wasn't that video good, children? Now, before we discuss that, I'm just going to stick my patience pineapple on my fruits of the spirit tree. If you're doing a fruits of the spirit tree at home, maybe you could make a patience pineapple or a patience plum and uh, pop it on your tree. So, in Mika's vlog today, Lydia was in the library. Why did Lydia find it hard to be patient? That's right! Lydia had gone to the library for some peace and quiet so that she could study and Mika was in there eating his crisps very loudly. Wasn't he? He was going... And then when he'd finished his crisps, he was slurping his drink really loudly. Like that, wasn't he? And Lydia lost her patience and ended up in detention. Oh, dear. I was wondering 
is there anything that you're waiting for at the minute or you have to wait for at the minute? Oh, birthdays, yeah? Did someone say Christmas? It's a bit early for Christmas, but yes, I suppose you could be waiting for Christmas. Mums and dads to cook dinner, yes. Dads to finish work so you can play, yes. And friends who want to play their game, yeah, you have to be very patient with them. And another good question for you to ponder is, when can you remember a time when God helped you to be patient and maybe you can talk about that maybe mums and dads have got some great ones that they could share with you and I wanted to just take one last little minute to look at Ephesians 4 and um, verse 2 which Mika said in his video and that tells us to be patient with each other making allowances for each other others faults because of your love so when we love people we need to be patient with them, even, like I said earlier, when they're being difficult. So I wonder, how can we be patient with people? Hmm. Well, we could find ways to distract ourselves if we're waiting for something or waiting for somebody to finish their game. Or if we're waiting for our turn in a game, we could maybe cheer people on. Yeah, you're doing really well. Go on, get a six, get a six. You know, and cheer people on so you're doing something and you're not sitting there waiting, getting bored. Uh, what else could we do? I know, we could pray to God and ask God to help us. So let's have a little prayer now and pray to Jesus and ask him to help us. So you get in your usual pray, prayer position if you have one. If not, just sit quietly and I'll pray for us. So, dear Jesus, thank you that you are patient with us. We are sorry that we don't always wait patiently or be patient with others. Please teach us how to wait without complaining and how to be patient with each other. Help us to be joyful while we wait and loving with each other. Amen. Yeah. Now I'm going to show you how to do a few crafts. So we have our cup catcher today. And what do you need for our cup catcher? You will need a cup, a pencil, a piece of blue tack, some coloured pens, some paper, some glue, some string, a pair of scissors, a bead or a ping pong ball or perhaps a button. If you don't have a paper cup Maybe you could use a yoghurt pot or a kitchen roll tube. And last of all, you will need some sellotape. Let's get crafting! So first of all, if you take your cup and a piece of blue tack, place your piece of blue tack on a piece of paper or on your work surface and then place your cup on top of that with a pencil poke a hole through your cup and it should go into the blue tack so you're not putting a hole in the table like that and you have a hole in there then what you need to do is take your string and measure probably an arm length of an adult so from your finger to the armpit and chop the string like so then thread your string through actually it might be easier the other way once you've threaded the string through your cup tie a knot 
in the end like so you might need to do a couple of knots two or three knots make sure that the knot is big enough so that it won't go back through the hole and then pull the other end there we go and then take your button or bead i've got a bead here you could use a ping pong ball and stick it on with sellotape as i have done here or a um a bouncy ball might should work as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to thread my string through my bead there we go and pull it through and then tie again another knot in your string if you're using a bouncy ball or a ping pong ball you would just use the sellotape and sellotape it's sellotape your string onto your ball so there is your cup catcher and then what you will do is you will throw the cup and hopefully catch your ball in there but you might want to decorate it so if you take a piece of paper and measure it around your cup like so mark off where you need to cut about oh no yeah about there and then cut that with your scissors and you will get a piece of paper about that size there then you can start to decorate it on mine i wrote cup catcher so you might like to do that and you might need like to do some stars or maybe some dots so make it look a bit like that then what you need to do is turn it over and glue it put some glue on it all along the edges and in the middle and then wrap it round your cup like this and there just away from the top a bit because as you go round it starts to uh, slide up due to the shape of the cup bring it down that's it and wrap it round a little bit and there you have it there you, go. you can cut off any excess like so and then your cup catcher is ready to go wow not only was that a craft you've got a cool little toy to play with and the patience part is can you stay patient while you're trying to get that ball in that cup? I'd love to see how you get on. So our next patience craft is make your own juggling balls. Oh, oh, I hope you can do better than me. So what do we need to make our own juggling balls? You will need a bag of rice, a paper cup or measuring cup, uh, three sandwich bags or zipper bags with the zip cut off, six colourful balloons, a pair of scissors and a pencil or pen. So what time is it? It's crafting time! So the first thing you need to do is uh, with your rice fill it about I think about a third of the way up your uh, cup like so and what you can do is uh, make a mark because you need each uh, juggling ball to uh, be the same size so make a mark at where your rice is I also weighed mine so it was 1.6 ounces and then what you need to do is take your sandwich bag or your zip bag I'm going to use a zip bag and what you need to do is cut the zip bit 
off the top there like that just cut along take the zip bit off because that won't um it won't fold up into your balloon and open your bag out and then if you pour your rice into the bag i found it easier to sort of put it in the corner and uh, roll it into a ball and then twist the end so it's all closed up and then take the excess bag and put it round your ball again and if you've got quite a big bag you can keep twisting and rolling and wrapping twist and then wrap so you get a nice ball like so then what you need to do is take your balloon I'm going to take a blue one and you need to chop the neck of the balloon off with your scissors careful they're sharp and just cut it off about there and then what you do is place the open bits first if you can twist that round to tie it up a little bit more and then place that bit into your balloon. You might need a parent to help you do this or a couple of pairs of hands and wrap the balloon around your ball like so. And you end up with something that looks like that. Then what you do is take, you can either take another blue balloon or you can take a red balloon and you can uh, cut off the neck again a little bit lower down and then push your ball through your balloon like so and then there you have a bowling ball what you can do is, there you go, uh, it's not a bowling ball, a juggling ball. Then what you can do is with these neck pieces, if you want to make it a little bit more colourful, you can cut off the end of the balloon, which is rolled up as the ring. That's where you blow into it. And then you can use, you could chop this again into a, a band. There we go, using your scissors. Uh, and then once you've got, chop that again. Once you've got your band, you can wrap the band over your ball and decorate it with different colours to make it bright colours. Then you repeat the same for your two other balls make them roughly the same size that's why you measure and draw a line and then you get your three juggling balls and you can have a try at juggling too so i've got my little helper here he's going to show you how to use your cup catcher so can you show them how to use your cup catcher so what he's doing is he's got his oh have another go Got his cup and he's throwing and trying to catch the ball. Keep your patience. You need lots of patience for this. This time. Oh, nearly have another go. Yeah. Yay. Well done. Well done. So, oh, he's having another go. Oh, so maybe children, you can see how many times you can catch it in your cup catcher. So have a great week, enjoy the crafts, and all that's left for us to say is bye bye. -bye. You say you want it right now, but you can't have it right now. You gotta wait for it, wait for it. Yeah, it's gonna be worth it. Maybe a brand new toy or a video game. I know
know you want it right now, right here today But it may not be the right time So let patience lead you on Cause sometimes you gotta wait for what you really want Now don't you go forget the words to this song Now everybody sing along A-T-I-E-N-C-E You gotta wait for it 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 what do you do when you're at the fair and you see your favorite ride sitting right over there? Go to the ride just to have a good time and you see a big long wait in line. Get in line, wait your turn, here is something you can learn. Patience helps us get along. So everybody sing the patience song! B-A-T-I-E-N-C